Hello, this video will show you how you can build, test, deploy and publish a bot to Cisco Spark using gupshop.io. Log in to gupshop.io using your GitHub account and click on the My Bots tab to create a bot. Gupshop has a tool called the Bot Builder that helps you create bots in a jiffy. The Bot Builder includes a simple code editor, a publishing mechanism and a diagnostics program amongst other features that significantly simplifies the process of building a chatbot. The Bot Builder also provides single-click secure server deployment for your chatbot, eliminating the need for your own server. You can also test out the conversational aspects of your chatbot using the built-in emulator given in the Bot Builder. There are multiple benefits to using the Bot Builder tool. It is more efficient, time-saving, since a lot of the grunt work involved in creating a functioning chatbot is automated. The Bot Builder also reduces development time since it gives you the option of instant testing and deployment. Let's now create a simple chatbot using the Bot Builder. There are few methods given to a user when a new chatbot is created. The message handler is the method that executes when your bot is communicated with. It has two parameters, context and event. You can pass what message was sent to your bot using event.message. Your bot can then reply using the context.sendResponse property. Here, let us reply to a message that says hi with a hello. Test your code using the built-in emulator. Now, include the user's name in your response. Hit the deploy button to deploy your bot. Now test this bot on Cisco Spark by using the Gupshop proxy bot. A, a proxy bot is a bot created by Gupshop that will mirror the bot that you have just created. We have created proxy bots on various messaging platforms for your testing purposes. Look for the Gupshop proxy bot using the search function in Spark. Type in proxy followed by the bot name to invoke the bot that you have just created. Type out hi to test out your bot. Now, let's build a simple bot that asks the user which publication they prefer and then use the publication's RSS feed to display a headline and a link to the day's top story. Right now, the created bot is stateless. The bot builder offers data persistence so that you can store bot and user preferences to enhance the usability of your chatbot. There are two variables that you can use for data persistence, bot level data and room level data. Bot level data is the global data for a bot across all messaging channels and users. This data is accessible to the bot for all the conversations with all the users from different messaging channels. Room level data corresponds to the user level data for a single conversation between a bot and a user on each messaging channel. Here, let's use room level data to store the user's preference.
Most bots will need to make HTTP calls to send and receive data. The bot builder offers methods to make and handle HTTP calls. The makeGet property makes a HTTP GET call to any URL. A response to that makeGet call is handled by the HTTP response handler method. Here, let's use the JSON version of the publication's RSS feed. In the HTTP response handler method, pass the JSON to display to the user a single headline and a link to the story. Once complete, test the bot using the Gupshop proxy bot. Publish your bot to Spark using the Bot Builder's publish functionality. First, go to developer.ciscospark.com and log in. Click on the My Apps tab and then the plus button to add a new bot. Fill in the details of the bot and add an icon to get started. Once the bot is created, copy the access token and paste it in the Gupshop bot builder. Once you hit the submit button, your bot will be live on Cisco Spark. Search for the bot using the bot name that you have just entered. Bot is now live on Cisco Spark. Gupshop is the easiest and quickest way to build bots across any messaging channel. Build, test and deploy a bot in minutes.